Hello everyone, this is Eugene Rapchenko and this is another React to React video, React Inception. I've been notified that Craig Reynolds has posted a Natty or Not video about my performance. I've been following Craig on social media for many years now, and I know that sometimes he can be a harsh critic, so I'm honestly very excited to see this. I'm not sure if this Natty or Not is a Greg Doucette reference when he's analyzing people's physique and trying to tell if they're taking some drugs or not. If it is, then my guess is the equivalent of this in extreme metal drumming is gonna be him determining how much I am faking my drumming. Yeah, obviously. So this is gonna be cool. One thing that I can promise you 100% that my reaction to this video is gonna be Natty because I haven't seen it yet. I wanted genuine emotions, okay? so. Let's start. Now the Russian, all the Russians. Just give me all the Russian drummers. Everything that ends with ko, like Rabchenko, Shevchenko, Klitschko, Poroshenko, most likely it's Ukrainian. So uh, I don't think Craig is Slavic, so we're gonna let it go. But let's say it was rather close. Big, 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 big request, this guy, Eugene Rabchenko. Oh, I'm a big request. Cool. Apocalypse. I don't know if this is a new drummer or if they've always had this drummer. Maybe someone in the chat, twitch.tv slash Renlord, can tell me because I've seen Eugene Adaption got joined Flash God Apocalypse in 2020 January. I've seen Flash God live and I know this guy is amazing or whoever they had was amazing. Francesco is. So. Ah, the betrayal. Go. This is high budget. Let's move me a bit. High budget, thank you. Let's have a look at these cool cartoons. It's very high budget, isn't it? I don't think we've ever seen such a high budget situation here. He's got. Thank you very much. Artwork by Alex Erfan. I'm gonna put his name in the description. Space pedals. Yeah, <laughs> space pedals. Someone fucking hook me. Elon Musk pedals. Yeah. Overload custom drums with the Guinness logo. Can only logo. imagine that means that they are good and Irish, and better Almost. when you play them in Ireland. Italian. And Drum Technique Academy. That's the guy. The um, guy. Martin. Vampire guy. Vampire. He's fast as well, isn't he? He was in Belfigor. Genau. Cheers from Vienna. Behringer USB mixer, which will break. It's a Mackie, but that doesn't matter. Fake. So you really should upgrade that. I, I do agree with that. Behringer, I'm not sure if I would recommend anyone to get that one. It's like, if you're super low on budget, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's an average person's reaction to Flash God Apocalypse, so it's okay. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. The deep breath. <sighs> Wearing a suit, deep breath, immediately blasting. Wim Hof Method. Fucking grind set. The subscribe button is um, louder. Sorry, I'm not very good at mixing my stuff. And I mean, look at the fucking stick heights. They come back to the same height every time. Real fucking high. This guy is very fucking good. Oh. You really think so? I personally always thought of myself as a very soft hitting drummer. So, and especially, you know, with the, these fast blast beats, you really, really got to hold back a lot if you want to save your energy, you know, and uh, you're not allowed to be Eli Casagrande when you play Flash God Apocalypse, because if you do, you're going to die of an instant heart attack. So don't recommend that. Relax, breathe and Easy blast. Chill, relax. Can Bedena approach? Very important. Look at that. Look how high that stick height is on a blast beat. And it comes back to exactly there every time. Because it's a relatively slow blast beat. Wait for it. So, for the science, did he just go double time? Oh, yes, he stopped right before. <laughs> he should not have stopped there. I might have to roll this back and not pause it like an idiot. Uh, for the science fans, science fans. Um, I'm it does science seem fan. pretty fucking real. Definitely going to be a loud, consistent blast beat from that from that amount of air. We've said it before. If you drop a ball from here, 
it's going to sound much louder from, than dropping a ball from here. When you see a drummer and they're like... Physics. <laughs> Wait till we get to the fast part, then we'll see who's who's real and who's Eugene. <laughs> oh my God, I need that again. <laughs> I don't need any of that in my life anymore. I mean... Look at that push-pull. Not push-pull, almost. Elbow bread cutting technique, Eugene's trademark. We talked about this a lot in the uh, Six Six Samus uh, react to react video. So make sure that you check that one out if uh, you haven't seen it. And then I kind of explain because it, it's a technique developed from the molar whipping motion. And yeah, whatever. Let's let's continue. That's fucking crazy. I mean, there might be a couple of samples in there or something. Couple? Maybe a bit more than a couple. But it's definitely hitting every single note that you can hear. Give me that uh, on the half lob on. Uh, now we're slowing down. Now we're getting to the microscience. This would be a cool version. Sounds like a obscene extreme gore grind band. Francesco, I wish all the Flash God Apocalypse stuff would be this slow. You know, interesting how I never actually slowed down my own performance like this half time watching it. And now like the stuff that's like edited and adding samples on top of it. And when I'm like blasting, I'm watching it at half tempo. It does look weird. It doesn't look very natural. So. The snare, if not incredibly cleverly done. Nah, it's not natty. clever. The kick drums is another giveaway. The kick drums are obviously triggered. Yeah. Which is fine when you're playing this fucking fast, but you can hear the, the double triggering when you when you half speed it. You can hear it still sounds really great, whereas that snare sound is shit. Yeah. More likely to be microphone. But when you <laughs> slow a sample down, it still sounds pretty good. Let's play it at full speed and it will sound clean as fuck. But that's natty as well. Confirm natty. Ready? But that sounded like a machine gun, didn't it? And then yes, machine gun, but it's a very, very, very short part. Honestly, I, I remember Samus was uh, also uh, kind of blown away by that part. And you know who was also blown away? I was blown away when I discovered how easy it was, like much easier than what I expected. The whole song is a nightmare. But that double bass part actually is much easier than I thought it would be. Because it's so short and you can just burst through it with some like brute force, uh, what I call caveman technique. You know, like basically almost anybody can play 290 for, for, for that short period of time with no knowledge, no skills. I mean, relatively speaking. Usually the problem is with drummers is uh, the endurance and like, let's say the longer kick patterns when you have to keep it consistently for longer periods of time that is when you actually need good technique in this case you don't need technique you just need guts so i'm pretty sure this guy is absolutely absolutely just a fucking freak i'm a freak i'm a weirdo fuck me wearing a fucking this is gonna be the Parkinson's hand technique, okay? He's got that suit get up on and then he's got vans on though. He's like he's in Busted or uh, Jonas Brothers. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you for that comment. That snare is all over the place, velocity wise. This guy's natty. Even I don't consider myself natty, but thank you very much. I appreciate the compliment. If you were sampling, you could very, very easily make that a back, uh, a rim shot. Imagine 290 all blasts, the snare is a rim shot. Oh, the shirt. Look at my shirt. Sweating a bit. And you can see the stick heights when he does a snare roll are higher and the sound is louder. I can't fucking believe how fast he is. Uh, I can't believe either. Yes, actually, like, very cool. Uh, this is something that I don't think I have talked about a lot with the stick height and the snare velocity. And I find it very cool that Craig talks about it a lot, mentions it a lot. So... <clears throat> 
it is true that when you're playing a blast beat once again the same same concept same idea as how i was talking about the fast kicks the bomb blast part so you basically don't need a, a technique good technique to to push through that short burst. Kind of similar with the blast beat. The reason that I'm going louder on the roll is because it's just a short burst. You go like, you know, it's like a jump. And when you have to hold the blast for longer, then you have to be kind of more delicate with that. So that's why, that's the reason that the velocity is a little bit different. The stick height is different during the blast beat and during the roll, although both are being eighth notes with the left hand on the snare at 290. So why is that changing because like the whole approach is different okay i hope it made sense another important thing what i actually learned over time with experience is to keep try to keep my snare always kind of soft when i'm like playing the blast beats i don't hit hard because it's just not possible at those tempos physically for me because i'm not that good enough and also what's even more important than when you're playing slow stuff when you're hitting much slower you need to hold back even more. So you play very, very gently, even if it's slow stuff. And then at the blast, you try to also play just as fast and as hard as you can. And eventually the volume, the power that you have for the snare is going to be almost the same all the time. So basically you're, you're compressing, triggering your own snare with the help of your technique. So this is something that I've picked up from Inferno from Behemoth. This is a very good, very important and useful trait to develop as an extreme metal drummer. And for example, once again, Ken from Aborted is very good at that. Actually, you can see his, he sounds very good. He sounds like he's fully triggered and he's hitting very soft. So because he knows how to balance the volume of his hits, whether he's playing slow stuff or fast stuff. Let me just brag very quickly. When uh, I was doing a show with Balfagor and Malta from Behemoth uh, was our sound engineer as well. And I told him that uh, make sure that you crank up the snare high because I'm hitting very soft and I try to keep the volume the same now. He's like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll do that. And then after the show, he came up to me and he said, I was very impressed that the sound, the volume of the snare was very, very consistent throughout the whole show. And I was like, wow, this is the biggest compliment I can ever get from the sound engineer of Behemoth. Thank you very much. Dziękuję bardzo. It's a bit like John Wick. John Stick. Hashtag Eugene the Machine, hashtag Eugene Wick. I would quite like some really, really fast feet though. Is that coming? Can anyone tell me? No more fast feed, fortunately. I need to listen to this band again. You most definitely should. This is the band that one of them is like a classical composer, isn't it? Or is that Septic Flesh? I think you, he means uh, Christos from Septic Flesh. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But, of course, Ferro and Frappa and all the guys are very educated and great musicians so fuck doing this for six minutes i might yes. not see it through now yes same thing man same thing six fucking minutes of this yeah and then imagine we gotta play a show with flash god and it's one hour and a half of this so six minutes is nothing Sounded like that was in the fill as well. I wonder if he's doing it on purpose. It sounded like he hit a gigantic zilbel. Tell him. I like him. Oh, thank you. I like his whole vibe. He's. If I was going to say it, I would say one hundo natty. Before we wrap this up, I wanted to clarify that I obviously throw samples on top of my drumming and I do that a lot. And I've already talked about this during the 6XMS review. So uh, I am not 100% natty, but you know, it depends on like how good are you at editing, mixing, faking your own stuff to a certain extent. You know what I would usually do is I would just take a song that I would need to record, let's say, and I would just practice the shit out of it as much as I can just doing my best and then I record it and if there are like things that I'm not happy with that sound like kind of like ah okay then I'm just gonna maybe fix some of those small things in post because it's just not worth doing them again and again what's important is the effort that you really try to give your best 
in my opinion, you know, so and honestly, it's not gonna matter so much that you're gonna be fixing some minor issues as long as you're not like completely doing all the audio from scratch like zero, you know, then it's kind of a weird thing. I did that as well actually in, in the past. The only reason that I'm um, editing and fixing a lot of things because unfortunately I don't have always good conditions when I'm recording I don't have good equipment especially when it comes to live stuff you know I even throw samples on top of my live footages because live footage is like disaster you know lights sound it's all noise and eventually I know that I played it good but I cannot even actually show it to people because the recording is crap just make the best possible outcome you can and for people to enjoy it, you know? So if I wouldn't be touching my stuff at all in post editing, then I would be posting maybe one video per 10 years that is like 100% natural. And then would you really like that? I wouldn't like that. So, you know, making content is something that I really, really like to do, especially I like to, you know, talk with people, share it with people, see the feedback, you know, and it's cool, you know. Once again, thank you very, very much to Craig Reynolds for uh, doing this reaction. It made my day, meant a lot to me. It was very cool to see him uh, watch me perform. So, and thank you very much for watching this, for notifying me about this reaction. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna do these more in the future because I really enjoy them myself. So take care and cheers. Bye bye. Impressed by this precision? Me too. This is all achievable thanks to the Foot Blaster trigger. Make sure that you head to footblaster.com and use the code Eugene in order to get a discount for your next Foot Blaster trigger purchase. It's like he's in Busted or uh, Jonas Brothers. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you for that comment. That snare is all over the place, velocity-wise.